Good evening. We are on the 24th of February 2022. I'm going to be sharing with you healing prayers for every day. We begin with a few prayers in the name of the Father and of the Son and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. And in these prayers we pray for peace in Europe and for the truth to be spoken by all media outlets instead of blaming and lies and not admitting to the secret skullduggery acts that have been going on for a very long time by those who want war. Many of them in the West who are hiding their true colours wanted to have war and they pushed Russia to the edges knowing that there was an agreement which they ignored and they broke we're praying against all those evils and the lies that are being woven and we pray for the people who are suffering in fear and anguish and terror and we pray for those who've been pushed forward in this situation to protect their own people. We offer all our prayers for this situation which is not desired by those who were forced into a corner by the rest of the world. I believe in Jesus Christ, his only Son, our Lord, who was conceived by the power of the Holy Spirit and born of the Virgin Mary. He suffered under Pontius Pilate, was crucified, died and was buried. He descended to the dead. On the third day he rose again. He ascended into heaven and is seated at the right hand of the Father, he will come again to judge the living and the dead. I believe in the Holy Spirit, the Holy Catholic Church, the communion of saints, the forgiveness of sins, the resurrection of the body, and life everlasting. Amen. O oh my God, I am sorry for all my sins, because they offend you who are so good, and with your help I will not sin again. The Jesus Prayer, Lord Jesus Christ, Son of God, have mercy on me, a sinner. Angel of God, my guardian dear, to whom God's love commits me here, ever this day be at my side, to light and guard, to rule and guide. Amen. Come, Holy Spirit, fill the hearts of your faithful, and kindle in them the fire of your love. Send forth your Spirit, and they shall be created and you shall renew the face of the earth. Amen. Glory be to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, is now and ever shall be, world without end. Amen. Holy Michael, Archangel, defend us in this day of battle. Be our safeguard against the wickedness and snares of the devil. May God rebuke him, we humbly pray, and do thou, Prince of the heavenly host, by the power of God, thrust down to hell, Satan and all the wicked evil spirits who wander through the world for the ruin of souls. Amen. For this 24th of February, the reading is taken from Psalm 51, verse 17. O Lord, open my lips, my mouth will proclaim your praise. The reflection, the S of Jesus stands for Saviour. Jesus wants to convert all of us and thus heal us spiritually. One day, a young man living in sin for years had an experience of Jesus in his heart. Now he is completely changed and studying for the priesthood. His 
best friends said it was a most dramatic conversion. The prayer, O oh Jesus, I surrender to you. Come and fill my heart with your presence and heal me spiritually. Amen. An act of offering, Jesus Christ. My heart is hungry, hungry not to have but to give. I know my emptiness, my uselessness. I know my failure to do anything well. I know the waste in every day. I search around seeking for I know not what. But I trust in you in whom I believe. You have your reasons for everything. Your measure of work is not ours. Your judgments are not ours. Your plans are not ours. And yours are best, better than ours. You bring forth fruit as you please, and when you please, and in what way you please. It is enough that I can wait, doing what I can. I desire to belong to you. Let the rest be as you wish. Amen. Prayer of Desire for Union with God Jesus Christ, I want you. I want you for my own sake, because I am so weak. I am a sinner. I am nothing. I want you for your sake, so that I may know you, so that I may love you, so that I may become like you. I want you for the sake of others, so that I may do them no harm, so that I may do them only good, so that I may give you to them. Jesus Christ, you want me. You want me for my own sake, because you made me, because you died for me, because you love me. You want me for your sake, that I may be your joy, that I may be your crown, that I may be one with you. You want me for the sake of others, that through me you may heal others, that through me you may teach others that through me you may give yourself to them. Jesus Christ, you shall have me, all that I have, all that I am, all that I possibly can be. We now pray for the world with all the prayers that I'm going to continue praying with. For Putin, the leader of Russia, that he may be guided by your Holy Spirit because legally he has not put a foot wrong despite what the media in England is saying. He was pushed by NATO, Boris and Biden into that situation. He could not back off for his own people. You are the judge of that Lord. You know the truth on all sides you know who's lying and you know who's telling the truth. And I, I am fully aware that the leader of Russia had no option. He did not want that. The regulations and agreements that were made years back were broken by others, not him. He had no option but to defend why he said he would. So we... We have to be fair to both sides. We have to be fair and we pray. We know that he signed papers today. That 
wasn't mentioned on the UK news. He signed papers, a peace, agreement with Ukraine. He signed them so that by one week's time there will be a proper agreement and peace where there should continue to be. This was planned by evil people. You have to stand up to them. So we're going to keep praying for the situation, for the truth to be told by the historians. If President Trump had been in power, it would have never reached this stage. So all the deception that went on in the American elections and, 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 and the cheating and everything that went on has caused this situation because there are people who want war. That includes people in our government, in an American government. People, politicians should not be the ones deciding war. They didn't consult the troops, did they? So we're going to continue praying for the situation and for all those who've died and suffered and are terrified. Sorrow for sin. My God, you know sin and hate it and must condemn it. In some way, I do not understand. It does hurt you, yet you love the sinner and desire to save him. Here I am, am I, a poor sinner? I must confess my guilt, far more offensive than I know. Let me be true, let me not deceive myself, or be deceived. We are being deceived and have done so for a long time. Give me the sense of shame, that should follow my guilt. Give me the sorrow which will humble me when I remember my weakness in yielding, my giving in to sinful pleasure, my choosing of evil, my desire for wrong, my pride, my temper, my meanness, my shame, the soul that might have been so beautiful, spoilt, the powers that might have been so fruitful, the life that might have been so perfect, the good that might have been done, the harm instead I have done. Jesus who loves me so, yet who was so needlessly insulted. Jesus who bled to death for me, and I do not care. Jesus who will yet come, yet take me if I come. I have done nothing for you. I am doing nothing. Jesus, son of David, have mercy on me. A prayer in praise of Christ's mercy. You stood to be baptized with sinners at the Jordan. As one of them, you fasted in the desert. As one of them, you were tempted. You were a friend to the timid Nicodemus. You were a friend to the Samaritan woman, telling her of her own sins, making her confession for her. You were a friend to her friends. You let the men of your own town despise you. You call to yourself the sinful Levi, you dined with him and his friends till self-respecting men were scandalised saying, why does he dine with publicans and sinners? You were a friend to the adulteress shaming her accusers saying, neither will I accuse you. Go now and sin no more. You were a friend to the rich young man who refused to follow you. You looked on him and loved him. You were a friend to the publican Zacchaeus, 
choosing to stay at his house. You were a friend to Judas who betrayed you, calling him by his name, calling him a friend. You were a friend to Peter who denied you. You were a friend to the thief who cursed you, winning him to grace, saying to him, this day you shall be with me in paradise. You were a friend to all men, saying to them, Come to me, all you that labour and are burdened, and I will refresh you. A prayer to Our Lady. You were conceived without sin, and no one knew. The angels saluted you, full of grace, and not a soul knew. He said that the Lord was with you, told you, you would be mother of God, and not even Joseph knew. Elizabeth saluted you. Blessed among women, yet you were only a child from Nazareth, of which place men said, Can any good come out of Nazareth? Men thought they knew you. You seemed so easy to know. They boasted, His mother, do we not know her? Yet how little did they know. You called yourself only the handmaid of the Lord. Content to be no more, whom all generations shall call blessed. Praise of God's love in the blessed sacrament. You loved me from all eternity. Therefore you created me. You loved me after you made me. Therefore you became man for me. You loved me after you became man for me. Therefore you lived and died for me. You loved me after you had died for me. Therefore you rose again for me. You loved me after you had risen for me. Therefore, you went to prepare a place for me. You loved me after you had gone to prepare a place for me. Therefore, you came back to me. You loved me after you had come back to me. Therefore, you desire to enter into me. This is the meaning of the Blessed Sacrament, the mystery of love, an act of desire. My God, I desire you and your love. My poor heart longs for peace of mind. It longs to be at peace with you. It longs to be at peace with all men. It longs to be at perfect peace within itself. And this you alone can give me. The peace of sinlessness. The peace of selflessness. Of doing my whole duty. With no giving in to self-love in whatever form it may hide itself, the peace of knowing, loving and serving you, of knowing that I belong to you and that I shall belong to you forever. Amen. Thank you so much for listening. Please pray for the world because this situation is very grim and grave. But it cannot, the, the, the whole of it cannot be blamed onto Russia. We must pray for Russia, Europe and 
the situation that is so grave in the Ukraine. And the people who are not near are just as responsible as those who are near because they broke agreements, long ago settlements and agreements, they've broken them. The politicians of this world, the current politicians caused this situation. It could have been avoided. It should have been avoided, but it exists, so we must pray that it will just die as it should. Thank you so much for listening. I'm sending you God's prayers of healing and peace, God's peace in abundance. May you always be happy and joyful in the Lord and trust in the Lord always. And thank you once again for listening and for comments and sharing. It's much appreciated. God bless you. I'm going to uh, continue recording um, daily meditations with the Holy Spirit and St. Augustine. Thank you so much. And thank you for your comments. I haven't had a chance to respond yet.